Hi guys, welcome to howtoimprovemygolf.com. I'm Chris Fletcher. And I'm Andy Carter. And today's video is the third and final part of this anti-slice with the big dog. And after today's video, that's it, you're done. Draws, easy. <laughs> <laughs> if only. It takes a lot of practice. We've already spoken to, um, in the previous videos about setup, grip, alignment, uh, we've moved that into the takeaway and the backswing and the, tran oh, and the transition as we come into downswing. Today's video is all about the downswing path, the angle into impact, the impact and the impact it has on the follow through. If you've not seen the previous videos and you are looking to straighten up your drives, if you do have a slice, go and check the other two parts out. They'll be really, really helpful in kind of understanding what today's video is all about. So, let's improve your golf. Let's do it. I'm going to set up with the driver, so I'm going to set up in a nice neutral position. I'm making sure my shoulders and my feet are aligned. Shoulders in a good alignment for a launch angle. So Andy's just going to do the backswing. We talked about that in part two. He's going to get to the top, so he's nice and high with his arms. And from here, we're going to work on the downswing. So what Andy's going to do is first movement is going to be with his lower body. He's going to be shifting his forward hip as a right-handed player. That's his left hip. Okay, so he's going to be shifting that and there's going to be rotation happening. Okay, and at the same time, he's going to keep this, this torque in the backswing and keep the right arm, the right elbow nice and tight together. And he's coming in on a nice, nice inward path to the ball. Okay, and then he should strike into out. That's the goal. We want to work on in to out path because most amateurs, hey Andy, they come from out to in with an open club face. So today we're working on in to out with a slightly cl closed club face or even maybe a neutral face, yeah? So just do that one more time so the viewers can have a look. So just watch his hips, he's gonna bump his hips and rotate and at the same time he's keeping very close with his right arm to his right side and comes into impact. Just one more time and then we're gonna, we're gonna help you with a little drill what we use with our clients. Left hip, rotate, comes nicely from the inside. So, it'll be a very weird feeling for guys that generally get from here and disconnect the arms on the outside. It'll feel so tight, it'll feel, mm. it'll feel really, really strange. Just to make that transition of moving the hips to the left and rotating, but feeling like your arms are getting left behind your body. This way from here now, we will encourage much more in, of an into our path. Your first few shots doing this more than likely will go right because we won't have straightened the club face up just yet. Yeah. But that will that will come. That's on its way. Sorry, that's what we say. Sorry. So what we've got for an indication if you're coming from an in to out path, which we want to do, is what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two head covers down. First of all, we're gonna put one just on the outside before the butt, and the other one on the inside. So you may be asking why are we doing this? Well, most people are swinging out to in. So we want to have something to prevent us from doing that. And it also is a good indication for us. So you may be practicing the drill we're saying and you think you're doing it right, but to make sure you are, this lets you know, this gives you a reply, doesn't it? It says, it yes, we're doing it okay. So if Andy just shows us maybe, just show us a wrong swing path so we can have a look on the camera. So he'll just come over the top and then he's gonna hit the Callaway and then the tailor-made head cover. Okay, he's gonna hit both head covers. So our goal is to make sure we don't hit these head covers. And Andy's pretty good at drawing the golf ball from, so he's good at coming from in to out and we'll see that now. <laughs> so just do it slowly so the viewers can see the path you're trying to create. Exactly, good. So that ball started to the right and it's, it's drawn back nicely, good shot. So just one more time, so, so quickly a recap, Andy's going to swing to the top, he's going to move his weight with his hips to the left, he's going to rotate his hips at the same time, keep very tight on the right side and come from in to out, okay? Good shot, good shot pal. Yeah, and even at slow speed the strikes aren't too, aren't too bad. You're not going to get your maximum distance. We're not, we're not doing this drill to try and immediately start hitting the ball 20, 30 yards further no, no. with that perfect little draw shape. What we're trying to do is encourage a different swing path. And to do that, 
you're going to hit some different shots. You might hit the ground here, you yep. might hit the ball even further out than you ever hit it, and that's only going to be because of the club face. So don't be worried about that. Just purely focus on the actual path of the club's taking back into the ball. So we've got setup. We've got this, the uh, spine angle behind the golf ball. My shoulders are tilted up. Feet and shoulders are parallel. Wide and drop as we start to rotate through impact and transfer the weight. This shot. Guys, what we want to see from here is, if you're a right-handed golfer, we want to see that the ball is starting to the right of the target. If you're a left-handed golfer, the ball starts to the left. Don't worry about that. Eventually, the club face will start squaring up. If it doesn't, make your you grip slightly stronger, as we discussed in part one. Go check that out. And then what will happen is, if you have an in-to-out path and your, your club face is close to that path slightly, you're going to create this nice draw. Yep. So that, that's, that's the goal we're trying to achieve. Yep. Yeah, I like that. That was yep. good. Guys, how did you find the series? Did it help you? Is there parts of that you've been able to kind of pick up and put onto your own game? Hopefully is the majority of it. And then start to see a... I think the most important thing is just getting rid of the slice. If it, turns, if it long term just turns into a fade, happy days that's brilliant the idea of trying to encourage you to draw it is to almost get you from one extreme to the other yep. if you finish in the middle on a straight shot or a little fade or a small draw that's the goal we've got to try we're trying to get rid of the slice mm. you don't have to draw the ball but what you have to do to try and get rid of the slice is encourage a draw so trying to encourage it, it's a different swing path back into the ball. Yeah. So please guys, leave some comments below. Let us know what you think of that, how you've kind of adapted it into your own practice sessions. Also, some comments below, more tips that you'd like to see that can help your game in the future. Please also follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Brand new website as well with a sign up for lots of prizes we've got course vlogs we've got, we've got all sorts going on there at the left moment left-handed series left-handed series so the, the website is flooded at the moment and also as ever <laughs> please subscribe to the channel as well guys thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again very soon bye bye so i'm going to go ahead ball position if we do if we can't quite get the feet close together there right in the middle of the two big toes up to the top and strike through good strike thank you